Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve crazy problem set 6.2 question number 4. So we are asked to find out the solution of this differential equation. Y double prime plus 9Y is equal to 10 to the E minus 10 multiplied by E to the minus T. And Y0 is equal to 0 and Y prime 0 is equal to 0. Okay, maybe let's take a note of what we need for this problem. So, I need some Laplace transform of some function. The first that I need is y double prime of t. If we take the Laplace transform of this, that will become s squared ys minus s y0 and then minus y prime 0. Okay? And then e to the minus t or in general i will have e to the minus a t if we take the laplace transform of this that will be 1 over s plus a good and then uh, for the solution that we are will needed for this one we will have sine omega t if we take the laplace transform of this that will becomes omega over s squared plus omega squared. And also we have cosine of omega t. If we take the Laplace transform of it, that will becomes s over s squared plus omega squared. This will be useful later, but for now, we just need the first two line. Okay, let's plug it into here y double prime let's plug all of this into this equation here so it's essentially transforming both sides to the laplace domain so we will have s squared ys and then minus s y zero and then minus y prime zero good and then plus we will have nine yt yt becomes ys and then on the right hand side i will have 10 and then e to the minus t that will becomes 1 over s plus a here but a is 1 so i will have plus 1 okay that's good now let's plug this initial condition in y0 is equal to 0 so this will equal to 0 and then y prime 0 is equal to 0. So this is also 0. And what else? I think we have. We don't have any. So here we have s squared ys remaining. So I will have s squared ys here. And then what else? Plus I will have 9 ys. And then that will be 10 over s plus 2 okay we can factor out ys here so we will have s squared plus 9 and then we will have ys that is good that will be 10 over s plus 2 so we can isolate ys we can isolate ys so we will have 10 over s plus 2 multiplied by s squared plus 9. Okay, I think we need to do partial fraction expansion from here. So we will have ys is equal to a divided by s plus 2 and then plus we will have ps plus c over s squared plus 9 because this is second order so the numerator needs to be first order right okay so if we multi if we add them up we will have a s squared plus 9 and then plus ps plus c 
and then divide it by uh, s plus 2 and then s squared plus 9. Okay, that's good. But we now need to find out what is A, B, and C. Okay, remember that this numerator is equal to 10 here. But this 10 does not have quadratic term, S squared, or linear term, S. So if we add them here, we will have the square term here, A S squared, and then plus, oh, I think we miss one term here. So I'll have S plus if we get the quadratic term, we will have a plus b. But but there is no uh, quadratic term here, so I will have a plus b is equal to zero. Or this can be equal to a is equal to minus b. It's not equal to the same as a is equal to minus b. Then, what else? The linear term. The term that can make the s term is this one. So I will have, I will have b multiplied by 2. Oh, this is not s plus, a. that is s plus 1. Why, why I change that? So that is s plus 1, s plus 1. Okay, this is s plus 1. Okay, the linear term here. So I will have b plus c. So b plus c. And that will equal to, there is no linear term here. So that will be 0. So we will have here b is equal to minus c. Or that means that a is equal to c, right? And for the constant term, we will have 9a plus c. So I'll have 9a plus c. That will equal to 10. Okay. But then A is equal to C, so we can just replace C with A. So we will have 9A plus A, that will be 10. 9A plus A, that will be 10. So 10A, 10A is equal to 10. Therefore, A is equal to 1. And then b is equal to minus 1, and then c is equal to 1. And what does that mean? That means that we can rewrite y s as this term by plugging a, b, and c, right? So let's do exactly that. I think we will have space around here. So we will have y s that will equal to 1 over s plus 2 and then plus b that will be minus 1 so i will have minus s and then c c is 1 so i'll have plus 1 and divided by s squared plus 9. okay i think we just need this term here and the laplace table here but yeah let's clean up the board Okay, the final thing that we need to do is transform this back into time domain. But we need to make it into standard form here. So I think we can we can expand this, this part here especially. So this is already a standard form, 1 over s plus 2 because this is in this part here. And then for this one, I will separate between the minus s and this linear term. So I will have minus, I will have s over s squared plus 9. But then this is the standard form here. And so I will have plus 1 over s squared plus 9. 
But here we need the numerator to be omega. So we need the numerator to be 3. Okay. So this is has to be 3. But to keep it 1, I will need to multiply this by 1 third. Okay. So we can just convert this back to the time domain. So I will have yt here. 1 over s plus 2, that is e to the a minus 2t. And then I will have this one here. I will have cosine. The omega will be square root of 9. That will be 3t. And then plus 1 third of sine. 3t. And I think that's all. This is the final solution of this problem. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.